Hey, welcome back to the shop. So I'm not an expert on this subject, but the good folks at Dynaplug just sent me two repair kits for tubeless tires. And I've been riding tubeless tires for a long time, mountain bikes and road bikes. These two are road kits for fixing road tubeless tires. And they work just like the plugs that Dynaplug makes for motorcycles, cars, ATVs, scooters, anything with tubeless tires. They're plugs that you push into the tread of the tire and when you extract it the plug stays in the hole and seals the tire. So I haven't used these before. I've tried them on car tires, not the Dyna plug, but other models you buy in uh, car stores with limited success. So I'm interested to see how they work in a bicycle tire. So what I'm going to do is set up a tubeless tire here, a road tubeless tire, and then we'll try these kits out in the tire. One kit comes with CO2 cartridges, so this is an inflator and a patch kit. The other kit is a super light kit, only weighs 14 grams, and it just installs the plug in the tire. So we'll take a look at how these work. The racer kit is pretty simple. Here's the little tool that's used to insert the plugs into the tire. The plugs are preloaded. It's in the end of the insertion, the uh, nozzle, insertion nozzle right there. Plugs are made of an impregnated, sticky, uh, viscoelastic rubber. That's why they instantly bond to the tire when they're put in. The racer comes with two size plugs pre-installed in the tool. And then there's a little holder that fits on the bottle bosses. Or you could put it in any seat pack, it's tiny. And it comes with extra plugs and the little pipe cleaner is used to clean the nozzle in here after you've used the plug because the, it can get sticky in there. And you just put a little alcohol in the pipe cleaner and put it in there to clean it out. The big difference with the Dynaplug Air is that it actually comes with two 16 gram CO2 cartridges. So that means you can actually inflate the tire. You can use the tool like a pump, whereas the uh, carbon racer is just for plugging the hole. For plugging the hole with the Dynaplug Air, you move the cap and you have your plug inside the nozzle, just like we did on the racer. On this tool, you also get an air hose so that you can unscrew the nozzle, thread the air hose into that end, and now you have a Presta Schrader adapter here. And by threading the cartridge in, you now have a pump for inflating a tire, adding air to the tire. It has an on-off so you can save air. Only use the amount of air you need to inflate a tire. This tool comes with the same pipe cleaner for keeping it clean. A cap to protect the nozzle on the plugs, and it comes in a little carrying case with three spare plugs. The cartridge acts as the handle for pushing the plug into the tire. And if you look closely, you might be able to see that there's two small holes. So you can control the flow of the CO2 into the tire by twisting to the right to turn off, to the left, uh, to turn on, to the left to turn off. And you push the cartridge in far enough so that these holes are inside the tire. And then it will both put the plug in when you pull it back out if you, if you need to add air, you can add air as you're fixing the flat. 
because if the tire is too soft, um, Dynaplug okay. says it can be tricky to get the plug in there. So this both inflates and patches, uh, plugs the hole. I've got a Hutchinson Tubeless Ready Fusion 5 tire, road tire, and I've got a, a oval True Velo Tubeless Ready wheel. So let's put this on and try out the Dyna plug. I forgot to mention the orange seal tubeless sealant, which I like a lot. Had a lot of good luck with this. Shook it up real good. Usually put in a healthy dose. Rather have a little extra than not enough. Try not to make a mess. Right. Sorry about the compressor. It's good and hard, sealed up nice. Got a little sealant on the side there. So a pretty clean job, tire seated. Put a little more air in here. Now i got to find something to pop it. That's about the size nail that I think I've run over a few times on the road. I actually had longer nails go right through the tire and right through the rim before, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to stick it in the tire. Put the wheel on my bike, and I'm going to check the, check the pressure with the pump, top it off a little bit. One of the big advantages of the Dyna plug that I failed to mention in the beginning is that it's the one solution to fix a tubeless flat tire on the road where you don't have to take the tire off or the wheel off. 
you just leave everything on the bike. So we're going to pretend we're out riding and uh, a nail suddenly jumped into our tire, which you'll see here. But first I'm going to top off the pressure. So that's 88 pounds. So now we are riding along and we just happened to pick up a, a nail. So I'm going to drive the nail in straight into the tire. So there's our nail in the tire. I'm going to start with the, the small plug on the carbon racer. This guy right here. And I'm going to pull the nail out and quickly try to push the plug in the way Dynaplug says, following the direction that the nail went or whatever went into the tire. First you take it out, then you push this in. Um, I'm going to wet the tip a little bit, make it a little slippery. And let's see how it goes. The sealant is, should all be pulled at the bottom, so we shouldn't get too much coming out of the top right now. And we're going to try to take the nail out and not lose too much air. There we go. Push it in. Now we're going to pull it back out. Cap came off. So there's the plug. We're losing a little sealant, but the tire's probably, you could definitely ride on it, probably lost 15 pounds. The rubber's supposed to seal and cure with the rubber that's on there. I don't know how long it takes, but it's got a, it's supposed to bond to the tire. I'd say that did pretty good. There it is. That other one was one I put in before. All right. Now we're going to try the other kit, the Dynaplug Air. I'm hoping that with this big handle, it might be a little easier to push the plug into the tire. So first we have to first we have to pressurize it. I'm going to use the same size plug to pressurize it. I just turn it all the way tight until it stops. Now it's pressurized. I broke the seal in the end of the cartridge. Now we're going to take the same nail again. This poor tire is getting a workout. And we'll pop it again same way I did before there you go 
Now we're going to pull it out. We've got this tool. This time, we're going to push this tool in, try to get those two little holes to go into the tire. And once they're inside the tire, I can inflate by turning to the left. So here we go. So it's in there. Now let's inflate. Yeah, you can feel the cartridge get ice cold right away. Tires super hard. Turn it off. Now pull out, and there's your plug. There it is. So both plugs are still leaking. This this one started leaking again because we put so much more pressure in. You can see the cartridge fully frozen now. That's pretty impressive. Push them in, pull them out, plug gets left behind. You don't have to trim these off. These will wear off as you're riding down the road. But just like that, in a few seconds, you could fix a flat and be able to continue riding. You didn't have to take the wheel off. You didn't have to take the tire off. You didn't have to deal with all the messy sealant inside. So overall, what do I think of these Dyna plugs? I think they're a pretty amazing little tool. Quite the thing to add to your flat fighting arsenal. When I flat with the tubeless tire and the sealant doesn't seal the hole, which has only happened a couple of times, and when it does, uh, it's frustrating, especially if you're riding with someone else. You have to get rid of the sealant, get out your spare tube. Um, putting a tube in a tubeless tire is, makes it harder to put the tire on the rim. Um, and it's just a bigger process than fixing a regular clincher tire. You wonder why you're riding tubeless. This solves the whole problem. You don't have to take the wheel off. You don't have to take the tire off. You don't have to deal with the sealant. Um, you saw you just uh, pull the object out. As long as you can find whatever's in the tire. And then you push the plug in. And this one will air it up for you. The other one you might have to add some air if you don't hit it fast with the plug. But if you put the plug in fast enough, um, you don't let enough too much air leak out, you should be able to keep riding on that tire no problem. Not even have to put any air in. Um, also, if you get a big cut that one plug doesn't fill, you can put your thumb on the tail of the plug that's protruding and you could stick another plug right next to it. I haven't tried that, but Dynaplug shows it in some of their videos to seal bigger holes. Um, I think it's a great way to fix a tubeless tire. In fact, it looks like the tire is not damaged in any way from the nail or the plug. Uh, so rather than throw away a tubeless tire because of one puncture, you might be able to keep, I think you'll be able to keep riding for, for quite a while. Um, the only caveat that I have in the whole procedure is that it does take a good amount of force to push these plugs through the tire. Um, that's, a, that's a Hutchinson tire and it probably has a uh, flat protector bead in there or layer that you have to get through. So you have to get through the tread, you have to get through that flat fighter probably and you have to get through the casing. And that took some effort. It was easier with this one with the big handle than with this one. Uh, both worked. Um, the, uh, I just wonder if you had frail hands, arthritis, or uh, if you're not that strong or weak or determined, if you'd give up before you push the plug in the tire. Um, but I think if you do it a few times, maybe practice at home, and on, a, on an old tire, you'd get the hang of it. And then I think you'd love having these in your pack. I think Dynaplug has a real winner here.
If you are actually using Dynaplugs or have, them, have some experience, uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, share what you know about the Dynaplugs. Maybe I missed something or maybe there's a feature that you can talk about uh, on a tubeless tire or a mountain bike tire that, that I haven't tried. Um, if you leave a comment, uh, I'll reply and uh, appreciate you watching my videos and if you subscribe, it'll help the channel. Thanks and I hope you enjoyed the show.